Okay, we're back to the number two video. Thanks for coming again and joining us. This is the support video number two here in the support services here at GovBigPro.com. Let's talk about the second level of the support services that we provide here at GovBigPro. What we're gonna talk about in this video is the proposal evaluation. So now with the video above, now you've already, you picked a bid you wanna go after. Okay, you are pursuing this bid and now you've created a proposal and we've got the content and we've put a proposal together and we've consulted and coached you on how to put the proposal together. First thing is we're gonna have someone proofread this proposal for you and take a look at make sure all your T's are dotted and uh, T's are crossed, excuse me, T's are crossed and I's are dotted. Make sure you've got everything covered. Uh, for those of you who are familiar, some may not be, but there's federal acquisition regulation, as well as defense federal acquisition regulation, also known as FAR and DFAR. So we can help you with uh, those areas. There's, like I said, FAR and DFAR is for defense. The next area that's over here on the right is the pricing. We're gonna take a look at the pricing that you put together and we're gonna discuss the profit margins and the pricing and uh, the different uh, pricing models for uh, to, to factor in inflation in the long term. Uh, we've got all sorts of different models. You don't wanna just say, hey, I wanna put 10% on there and just put a price in. You wanna win. You wanna win. I mean, you're putting all this work in to win a government contract, you wanna win. So. Definitely pricing models with our support services, something I would recommend. Okay, making sure everything is signed, all the signatures, okay? Everything, all the, all the, uh, everything that needs to be signed is signed by the principals of the, of the company or our VP of the business development or what have you. Okay, next section is the terms provided. So the government may ask you, for example, to hold price for 60 days. So that's a part of the bid evaluation if they say, hey, we, we need you to hold the price for 60 days. That's what they want. It could be 30, it could be 45. Uh, in, some, in most cases it's 30, but let's say it's 60 and you, you're you okay with that. So then in your proposal slash quote, you would put in price is valid until the specific date. And that date is 60 days from the date that the bid is due, because that's what the government's asking for. Okay, so that's a, a, an example that we wanna talk about. All right, for those of you that are resellers, all products are new, they have to be, and for government purposes, we have to document. We have to document and let them know price is valid and until, until a certain date, and then also all products are new. Okay, and there's a couple other uh, terms and conditions depending on the RFP. And this is the consulting slash coaching services, support services that we provide you within proposal evaluation once you're ready to submit that proposal. Okay, the next video below here uh, is going to be about back office, contract management, post award, and we're gonna talk about contract modification. Again, any questions, just email me at mike at govbigpro.com. We'll see you in the next video.